Hello everybody and welcome! My name is Summer and this is FTB Interactions. Episode 12. Yay! Alright, nothing has changed much. Well, uh, I did uh, encase the whole Steam system and I built another tower. I don't know if that's good or bad, since I have zero charcoal. And if I don't put a void here, uh, they just stop working, so... Yeah. Well, in any case, today... Uh, oh, I also made the modular storages and I upgraded it to the second tier. Uh, which is not a problem really, it's just uh, enriched alloy would be the difficult one, but uh, it's just redstone, soldering alloy and graphite. Soldering again. It's antimony and tin. Yeah, not difficult at all. So yeah, tower. Oh uh, yeah, tower. Tier two storage for all of them. I'm planning to put all of them like in this line, and then include our uh, logistics pipes right behind, so we have access to them. But yeah, we will we'll see how it goes. For today, however, well, we are going to work towards the mana generation and the life end. And uh, yeah, that's that's going to be fun. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description with uh, an image with all the planning and the setup for what we need. So yeah, just check that out. Uh, something else that's going to be in the description. It's Discord. Yay! I always forget to mention these, but I don't know. Just join. It's free. All right. With that out of the way, I made some components. Uh, obviously, you can totally imagine this is a Hellfire, Hellfire, whatever. Oh, I love the mod that it just speeds you up whenever you're looking on a ladder. Just, just, just saying. So, machine controller, it's gonna be here. We're gonna need our net bricks here, 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 and here. Uh, we're gonna need some obsidian, not a problem. There should be one there. Another one of you, another one of you, 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 uh... So, input, it's on the left, isn't it? Let's have a look. Yep, input is on the left. So, whoop. Input on the left. Output on the right. And just another row like that. Uh, some more obsidian here, 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 and here, and the vent. Like so. Let's put the machine print. Hellfire kiln. Yay! Now we should be able to make steel uh, in our base without, you know, causing any flux or anything. Uh, where is... Oh, here, of course. Yep. Let's uh, try it out. Missing structure. Oh, wait a second. Um, probably missing the. Yep, yeah, definitely missing the. Oh, not gonna use these blocks. Definitely missing the uh, lava. But you're saying in the comments, oh, you're forgetting the lava. You're forgetting the. I am. I am. But uh, it's 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 all right now. Oh, I also enchanted my satchel, and uh, I find I found a little bug uh, with reservoirs and rustic. I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, what am I looking for now? I just, I just totally forgot. Yeah, the philosopher's stone. Let's do something like so. Vent. Machine blueprint. Yay, it's working now. So if we put our steel, our crude steel in here, that's input. Let's get rid of this. Yay! Uh, awesome! It gives the uh, ingots. Is that a one-to-one -one ratio? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. We're not getting any extras here, but uh, we're also not causing any flux. So yeah, that's great. Put this back. Let's put this back, and let's go to the brewery. So in here, I found a bag, and if, as you can see, this uh, reservoir is. Not only harden, meaning that uh, you have to craft it, craft it with the invar and, and whatnot, it's also enchanted. If you use it through here, 
let's say to pick up anything you put it here uh, the version that you're gonna get is the ruler one the previous one actually this one the the, the basic so yeah don't don't do that also I got wine to ooh, this is 999 I got it here to one yeah so I need to brew that and that means that I have the best quality wine possible hey nice so in here bam um, we're gonna craft all our Pam's and Harvest Crafts uh, gardens just because we need beet and soy. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, we're working towards the dandelion, the, the then this plant. <laughs> uh, we're gonna need beet, some kind of beet and soy. Here, this uh, this says old veggies, so yeah. So soji garden, that's all right. And I bet you we can definitely use these. Right? Yeah. Awesome. So we got the... I guess we can put all of them there. Nice. Frost Garden. And that's the last one. Okay. That's also a quest that should give us a splinkers. Yep. Yeah, this thing here. Nice. So we got one of them. That should be more than enough. That's me. <laughs> All these flowers is me trying to get the magenta and the jelly one for Botania. It's been a, uh, it's rather yeah, <laughs> many tries. <laughs> okay, so let's plant. I guess the only one we can't plant here is the sandy one because we'll need, you know, uh, sand for that. But uh, for the rest, that's one. Another one. And you get a drill. Okay, I'm, I definitely don't want to fill my inventory and I don't want to leave this here because it will, this will, you know, eventually spread. So what you do, what you do is you shift left click and you get the plant itself. And if you vein mine it, oops, press too many bottoms. So shift vein mine bottom, whatever you set up and do that, you'll get the plants without filling your inventory. Neat. All right, so let's pop a few. Not really sure which one has the the soy, but I think we <laughs> we got all of them already. Oh no, this is peas, peas, but we did get bead. So okay, cool. I'm gonna try to find soy, and I'll be back with you. And my inventory is full already. Uh, should bring a box or something. Uh, okay, after <laughs> a whole inventory full of garbage, we do have soybean here and bead here. And that's all we need from here right now, really. I uh, should have saved those. But at the same time... Uh, gone and i didn't even open the arid garden that's okay so we're gonna come here and we're gonna plant soybean all of it and beets okay and you know what? Since I have the sprinkler, the sprinkler, and it's much better than the apiary, uh, just gonna replace it. And I'm gonna leave this here just so it, it increases the uh, you know the time even more. All right, while that's cooking, or you know, growing, we are going to need to make these magenta petals. We're gonna make it doesn't matter how many we're gonna make that many and we're also gonna make the yellow ones let's make also half something like that it's uh, kind of irrelevant because we're gonna multiply them so yeah this kind of infinite we could go through the whole basic process but if you just put one and do this and then just bend by it yeah 
You may miss a few of them, but that's... Again. Does it really matter? Oh! Nice. Okay, so we have a healthy amount of that. So, okay, um, orange tulips, we have that. Pythagrow, it's just apatite and covulated plant bulbs, so not a problem at all. Let's go and make an... Oh, yeah, that's right. These. So, let me make some bone meal, uh, accelerate these, and we'll go for the next part. Firm tofu, we make it in another work table with water, a bowl, and a hammer. Okay. Well, at the current speed of the splinker and the other one, uh, the, the the apiary, it, it grows really fast, so I didn't really need to uh, bone meal anything. So, wait, okay, cellular blocks. So, uh, these are these ones here. We should have everything except the firm tofu, which is going to need some water. So, one more time. These, that, firm tofu, uh, silken tofu. Okay, doesn't consume the bowls, that's nice. Six, it does consume the water though, but that's all right. We have six, that's good so far. Now, for the rest, we should have everything, right? Oh, we, we need to make this here. Oh, um, same as last time, grass, we'll do the trick. So let's take that and let's make some more cellular blocks. Okay, I guess this will do for now. 18. Now, what are we missing? Nothing. We're gonna get a tulip, we're gonna get a pythagro. Uh, is this the one with mana? Yeah, it should have enough. Well, no, it doesn't. It doesn't progress, not a problem. Let's get that. Bucket of mana, bucket of mana. And there you go. And the life in. Yay! Okay. I'm gonna set up a little place over here, uh, just a small flat area for this plant, and I'll see you in a bit. Before I forget, we're also going to need a mana spreader. I love that you can do these recipes uh, during daytime. Right click it, accelerate it. <laughs> never hurts, never hurts. Well, that's our mana spreader. Awesome. Um, now I wonder where do we make our diluted mana pool? Oh, it's also there. Ha! Huh. Okay. Uh, no, not a problem. Let's quickly come back. Haha! -ha. And we're gonna put this here. Resonating one and. There you go. That's our deleted mana pool. Awesome. That's also a quest, apparently. Are we following the quests uh, more or less? Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to need to make a one of the forests. That's true. That's true. So, okay. We're going to need some sticks. And, ah, that's... That's colorful. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, sticks. Got them. Sticks... Let's take a stack, why not? Let's take a bucket of... Oh, we don't have any more mana. Uh, oh, that's a problem. Let's use our reusable morph. Pow! Let's get Apollo El Pollo. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. He's, he's back. Ah. Oh, and it's night time. Of course it's night time. Why wouldn't it? Oh, F7 action. Let's get you, just in case, it's not safe. Get in. Let's throw a couple of sticks. Ah. Let's get our Thonian sword. With those wisdom sticks. Oh, don't like this. Die, die! And give me XP. Because I'm enchanting a lot, and... Yeah, that's uh. <gasps> ha! Okay, so we totally have uh, wisdom sticks. I'm gonna get one of these. Is this white? Yep. Okay. 
We're gonna put it in here. With, 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 with what? Convalescence test, right. And I believe it, it does need two, so let's make a few more. Uh, not here. Here. Oh, let's vein mine it all. No shiny particles, that means that we got it. And let me, let's make our wisdom for uh, this one. Oh, we're also going to need crystallized mineral chunks. Which again, not a problem. Should have a lot. Uh, I also added a sticky resin tree over there. And oh, it looks like it can't keep up. That's uh, weird. Did we stop producing... Minreal. Is that a thing that happens? I've never seen it running out. Let's have a look. Oh no, it's definitely working. It's uh, probably just not fast enough for one. I'll plant another tree. <laughs> it's not like we have a space problem back there, right? So let's get... Awesome. And let's go to our building side. Okay, if you have followed the video, the videos I post on the description, uh, make sure when watching Kraken's video, you look at the comments first. The measurements, uh, they're wrong in what he says, but they're, they're right on what he writes. So it's uh, 17 width uh, by 19 length. Okay. Uh, Right here in the middle, first, second, third, that's the dandelion. Uh, you need to leave a space, put a block here to block it the, the cellular block's way. One, two, three, four on the fifth block. Another block that blocked the, but the blocks the way. <laughs> one, two, three, four, same here, another one there. Now, from this one, you're going to count one, two, three, four, five, put a block in front, um, to, on this side. Two to the left, another block to to block the the pathfinder. I I know I know it's it's all, always the same. But one two three four five. There you go. This is almost the last one. From this one, the one in front of this one. One two. Put a block here, and that should be everything. Now these blocks on the ground uh, represent your cellular blocks. Oops. This is probably because the lever is on. Yep. You turn it off, put these blocks in here, light this up, pull the lever, and that should eventually, it's going to take a while, it's going to do a lot of weird forms and shapes, and eventually we'll come here to the middle at the same time, and it will produce much more than a diluted mana pool, much more than the you know mana spreader can hold, and just a lot of mana. Let's put another one there. And another one here. And, whoops, where is my one of the forest? Flower is almost full, mana spread is full, this is full ready. So, yeah. Now we can throw our Pytho Grove and get our Mana Powder. And that's uh, great. We'll be using these probably to make the Beacon. Yeah, that sounds like a great thing to do. But in general, I'll say this is... Whoop, this is Mana Generation for us. I mean, kind of nice, isn't it? Now, the way I'm gonna do this is I'll probably stack these, I'll make two floors and some kind of system. How are we doing with uh, regarding Botania recipes? I haven't really looked into that, to be honest. So, do we have... Oh, uh, where is it? These, the splitter... It requires living rock and mana steel. Mana steel, tell me, is just... Oh! Oh, that's nice. So if I throw some blue steel, let me get some blue steel real quick. 
I see you. I see you. <laughs> um. Anyways, so if we throw our blue steel in here, how much mana does that really take? Almost entire pool. Okay. I mean, it's not like we are gonna have any mana problem for a while. <laughs> All right, so now we have, we have access to mana steel, we have access to mana screws and all that, you know, takes with technology-wise and yeah. Living Rock is something that we can do now since we have a mixer. Uh, all these mana tools, not really sure if we will need any of them really. Oh, the splitter, that's something that we will definitely need. Uh, also, mana steel wire is a thing. It's uh, for MV, that's the serial loss per block, as you can see. I think it tells you in the quests, but uh, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's the one component we can, we can get until, you know, now. Hey! So, that's the game of life. Then the Lithium, then the Lithium, then the... Carl, I hate you. <laughs> Uh, I I know it's kind of a short one, we didn't do a lot of progress, but you know, sometimes you, you gotta do these things. Uh, anyways, I hope you like it, subscribe if you aren't subscribed already, and I will see you next time. Bye bye! <laughs>